Hello everyone and welcome to the G Cup Finals, what G Cup 59 I believe. For all of you guys who are interested, these games were played back on I believe April 30th, so um, 2016. For so for all of you guys out there who are new to my channel or who are watching these games, I'm like, oh my gosh, this is such a throwback to the past. When were these games played? Oh well just last week from my perspective so yeah there are still active warcraft 3 tournaments out there as we see foggy spawning as the red night elf over here on the bottom left hand side of the map meanwhile war chief rich spawning as the green night elf now i will all apologize already i am a little bit under the weather a little bit sick and that will may make for an interesting cast but i really really wanted to cast this series here now, we are going to be looking at similar openings where both sides are opening up with an Ancient of War. The Ancient of War uh, placed very, very close to the Goblin Merchant Shop off over here will allow for some AOW creeping. Now, I also am expecting a Demon Hunter vs. Demon Hunter matchup just because the Demon Hunter counters all the other heroes a bit too well. The Warden, the Keeper of the Grove, and both need, both of them do need a fair amount of mana. Oh, whoa, 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 let's slow things down and, and head back off over here. As we see the Ancient of War now tanking that damage from the Ogre Warriors and this Ogre Magi here. The Forest Troll Trappers throwing those axes in unison, attempting to take down that War Chief Riches 1 Ancient of War. Meanwhile, back over here, Foggy also doing pretty much the same exact thing. And what is going to be interesting is to see what type of items these players are going to be able to pick up. A potion of greater mana, not necessarily the best one, compared to a potion of invulnerability. And I gotta say, War Chief Rich, just with a roll of the dice or RNG or whatever you want to call it, is slightly ahead. Now, will War Chief Rich be able, will he be able to capitalize on a very, very lucky item drop? That is going to be the question here, as both of them did also pick up a circlet of nobility from the shop. Now, Demon Hunter quickly, mana burns down um, this Forest Troll High Priest. You can see both of them, no, only one of them getting healed. Oh, inner fire back on the other one. I was wondering if you would be able to get another mana burn before that inner fire, but that is just obviously not the case. Picking up a replenishment potion, one of the best consumables in the game. As it not only replenishes hit points, it also replenishes mana. Back over here, you can see War Chief Rich does have an Ancient of War right next to Foggy, and both of them are just um, well attacking each other fairly easily right now. Are we gonna perhaps see any sort of healing come in onto one of those Ancients of War? Now, the Red Ancient of War is obviously the one that is out of place, and both of them are just hitting each other slowly but surely 680 versus 637 wow um, it looks actually like war chief rich actually placed down his ancient of war first or was able to get in that first blow um let's see oh down to 515 nope oh, nope it looks like foggy is going to be slightly ahead there as we now see a quick reveal trying to take down there goes one archer there as foggy now pulling his way back all right, the Demon Hunter of War Chief Rich now making his way back off to the north. Most likely will drop that Circle of Mobility, drink some Moonwell Juice, and then attempt to attack this Ancient of War that's a little bit out of position. Once this Ancient of War up oh, and is now engaging against this Demon Hunter instead of actually engaging against the Ancient of War, and that little bit of an advantage right there is all it's going to take as we do see Foggy take a bit of damage there, and now War Chief Rich will be uprooting his Ancient of War and moving along back across over here demon hunter looking to get to level three meanwhile the demon hunter here still sitting at level two but does have a replenishment potion back across over here i don't know why they pinged there demon hunter now heading back off to the north will he be able to stop this demon hunter or perhaps get in a little bit of extra damage that is the big question that demon hunter very low on hit points oh mana burn might even be able to take him out quickly quickly picks back up both of those items he does have double circlets of nobility and he does have two moon wells to really fight from and this is going to turn into a really dangerous situation all right down to 24 hit points down to 12 and he does survive with just a little bit more hit points right there that moon well is very much near empty as you can see, the circlet of nobilities are quickly placed back down in order to be picked back up. The Dino Hunter now going to try to engage. There is the mana burn once again. 
I am surprised that Warchief Rich did not try to mana burn just once more. Oh, this is going to be a very, very close fight. Triple Moonwells. Oh, Scroll of Town Portal to try and save just a little bit more. 22 mana off to the north, 10 mana down over here. And that may be... I don't know. I don't know if that's going to be enough there. Just trying to stay alive. And there goes that Demon Hunter. So... Foggy comes out ahead, even though there was that potion of invulnerability as the Ancient of War now coming across here. All right, the Ancient of War has taken a little bit of damage as well. Wisp trying to run around, hide inside. You can see Wisp off over here, and I do not believe Warchief Rich will be able to really do much of anything else. There are a couple of Wisps down over here. But they are not going to be doing very much. Meanwhile, Huntresses making their way down into this location here are going to be able to get that Demon Hunter up to level 3. Naga Sea Witch now in a little bit of a sticky situation. That Demon Hunter may just use a Scroll of Town Portal in order to get out. There is the uprooting. And I believe after that uprooting by War Chief Rich, he pretty much knew that was GG. That may have been on accident. Uprooting that tree, that tree of eternity. Oh, no, Tree of Ages, excuse me. That Tree of Ages, uprooting that Tree of Ages, untangling that gold mine, and that would have set him back another 45 seconds, and there's just really no recovering from that. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Hope you guys enjoyed game one. Please stay tuned for game number two.